Over the last couple of weeks, I've been reflecting on prayer, how we understand it, what it is, and what we do when we pray. And today, I want to look at a way of praying. There are, I think, as many ways of praying as there are people, but a very specific way called Visio Divina, or Divine Seeing. This is an ancient contemplative practice that invites us to encounter God through images, through pictures. It shares its root with the word Lectio Divina that many people are familiar with, the practice of reading scripture, then holding what one has read in your heart and contemplating it. In Visio Divina, we interact with an image that leads us into an experience of God. We stay with the image and allow the image or part of the image to draw us into and ultimately closer to the Lord. We use our imaginations to become perhaps each person in the image, feel what they are feeling, think what they are thinking and experience what they experience. The image or the picture becomes our stepping stone into dialogue with God. The great spiritual writer of last century, Henry Nowen, said that Visio Divina was more about gazing than looking. Instead of a kind of scrutiny or judgment or evaluation, it's simply a gentle gaze at the image. Saint Benedict, the father of Western monasticism, invites us to listen with the ear of the heart. The Byzantine fathers focus on gazing or seeing with the eyes of the heart. And so we want to look at a picture or an image with the eyes of the heart so that it can communicate to our hearts. The physical dimension of the spiritual life has diminished perhaps and eroded. It may even have its roots in the Reformation where people were suspicious of images. And prayer has become for us mainly an activity in our heads. We have become like birds, as one author says, trying to fly with one wing. And praying with pictures or images can help us grow back that missing wing, the physical aspect of our prayer. The practice of praying with images is an ancient tradition. The images, called icons, were not painted to be pictures, but rather were the actual fruit of prayer itself. Christian iconography expresses in images the same gospel message that scripture communicates by words. Images and words illuminate one another. And these images are traditionally less realistic and more symbolic in nature. They are often called windows into heaven and are designed with one goal in mind, to link us to the Lord. We often call the one who created an icon a writer because, like the scriptures, the creator of the icon does not want to be praised for their talents, but rather wants to facilitate our encounter with God. And so how do we pray with an image or an icon? First of all, we choose a picture, and then simply we settle into prayer and we gaze at that icon or that picture and allow ourselves to use all our senses as we enter into the scene. It's important to simply look at the icon and notice the various details and colors. Enter into the scene, I mean smell and touch and feel what is in that image. Listening is an important part of praying with icons as it allows us to hear the word of God and what God desires to say to us through that image. When looking at an icon, remain still and silent 
and recognize where your eye is drawn. What feelings does that stir up? What does that image say to you? Take as much time as you need with the icon. At first, you can try spending 10 or 15 minutes with the icon. You see, this type of prayer requires a contemplative heart, one that slows down, taking a break from the fast-paced society and world that we live in. And sometimes the pace is in our own heads. It's another way of communicating with God where little is needed from us, only our ability to silently gaze on that image or that icon.